Hey guys, Satire Pie here with a temple trekking guide. Um, as you guys are probably aware, that the Mortania uh, Elites, what well, the Mortania Task Guide came out just a couple of days ago, and one of the requirements for the Elites and one of the tasks is um, that you complete all of temple trekking if you basically complete it. Um, so I'm going to give you a little guide. Okay, so basically the aim of temple trekking is to escort NPCs um, through like the treacherous Mortania, Mor Mauritania swamp. Even though it's not that treacherous, to be honest. To do this, you need to have completed uh, the quests in aid of the Marek, or however you pronounce that, which uh, unlocks the basic route, which is from Bergderot to Patadermus, which is actually just where I'm standing here. It's just east, no, just west of Cannabis right w when you enter from Varrock if you run from that way if you don't have like any of the teleports um, so yeah that unlocks the main route and then if you complete Darkness of Hallowvale quest you unlock the route um, it, which is called Bergdurot Ramble or something like that which is from here to Bergdurot so it's like the it's the opposite way essentially okay so the more temple trekking runs you do with an NPC the higher level they get and the overall goal is to get them all to level 99 which obviously is the requirement for the uh, elite task okay so you start at Bergdurat I'm actually starting here so ignore that if you don't have anything um, if you haven't unlocked this section the ramble then you have to start at Bergdurat and you'll have to tell it keep telling there but I'm gonna start up here because I like it up here um and just a note if your npc dies or you choose to leave the area you'll be booted out somewhere in the swamp and if you die you will use your items so beware um but you will have a gravestone and the gravestone will be wherever you started the trek so if you start in uh Patadomus, which is here your gravestone will be around here and if you start in Bergderot your gravestone will be in Bergderot so as long as you've got a, a decent length of gravestone, they're pretty easy to get back to. You won't have to go lurking around in a swamp. You'll be set. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute to take a phone call. Um, so about rewards, they all unlock rewards or abilities when they reach a certain level. And also when, there's, when they all reach a combined level. So um, say, well, I'll actually show you. See, they unlock rewards and abilities which help you in your trekking. And then also when there's a combined total, you'll unlock those rewards as well. Yeah, And each trek also offers a reward which um, varies on what difficulty you, difficulty you take on the route. And I'll, I'll show you those later. So anyway, what gear you need. You need... Uh, it, well, it depends. You can either tank it out. I've got this w setup which works, which works for me. I'm max combat, so I don't often take that much damage, and I can take most months, well, all monsters down fairly easily. Um, I've got tank gear. You need basically anything with good defense, and you need a, a weapon, obviously, and a. I've got a spec weapon which speeds speed things speeds things up. I'm wearing Torax because it's pretty good for defense. And all that malarkey. Uh, the reason you need tank gear is because if you do this the way I'm going to tell you how to do it, you will be taking a lot of damage from monsters. So any defense is good. Um, you also need a snail in case you come across snails, which you will do at some point. Um, you can have whatever ring you want. Rings don't really matter. I just have that ring in case I need to tell you to um, Canifis. Uh, you will also need a druid's pouch, which isn't really armor, but that's what you need. And you will definitely need um, something to kill vampires with, which is uh, any blisterwood weapon, although I recommend the polearm, which is actually also a task in the elite, so you might as well just use that. You can also use the Evandis flail. Or if you don't have any access to any of those, then you will have to use a silver sickle, which kind of sucks but that's the only way to damage vampires so yeah so needs 
you must 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 always have a snail you don't have to wear it i'm just wearing it to free up some inventory space so you always need a snail um a pole arm and a druid pouch no matter what you do with temple trekking you always need always need those um this pouch here is unlimited druid pouches and i got it from unlocking from from getting a medium npc to 99 so if you don't have one of these, which I guess you don't if you're watching this guide, you will need a druid pouch and you'll need to fill it up. Well, you don't have to, ne you don't really need to fill it up, but it's advantageous to do so, otherwise you will be in temple trekking and you'll need to take a sickle and cast bloom on things to fill it up while you're trekking. Um, advise, uh, well, I would advise, advise you to uh, also take some food that is easy stackable for a a challenge in temple trekking which means you need to feed sick people and having sacks of anything sacks of cabbages or potatoes or even baskets of strawberries or fruit is good because it doesn't take up much room in the inventory um i also take prayer potions because i use turmoil when there's a lot of creatures and they're higher level so and uh soul split if you don't have access to soul split then you probably need to take some food or some potions you also can take some stat boosting potions i don't because i don't choose to because i don't think i need it i don't yeah i don't do much combat to be honest in this method but you, the most important thing is the tank gear ignore that pure essence that's just my reward that i get um another way of doing this is to buy it is to bring um prayer boosting gear like proselyte and monk's robes and all that and initiate and then just completely get as much uh, prayer boosting gear as you can and then just pray through all the combat stuff which is a good technique if you're maybe a lower level and have access to those prayers but either way this setup works for me i also have a yak you don't need a yak you don't even need any bob i just have it in case i want to pick up some loot now in here i have some extra food if in case i need it and another yak just yeah in case i need it um you right okay right so this method well i should probably tell you some uh, stuff about it really so each location you can choose from three npcs uh, making six in six in total and they're split up into three difficulties one easy that's the easy one one medium that's the medium one and that's the hard one now the easy npcs have more health or better armor and weapons and therefore are easier to escort in comparison the hard npcs they don't tend to have a weapon and uh, or armor and they have lower health so they uh they don't level as fast okay so that i'm gonna should we do a trick you know, I am going to do a trek. So that, um, no, I shall do it in a second. So the trek starts with um, a path which leads to three areas, um, easy, medium, and hard. And the difficulty relates mainly to the combat levels of the monsters and the amount of monsters to kill. The harder the difficulty, the higher the combat levels and more to kill. So if you choose an easy path and there's ghasts, you'll have two ghasts and there'll be lower combat. If there's a ghast, if there's the ghast area in hard um in the hard difficulty there will be like three or four ghasts and there will be higher combat so it will take you less time to go through the easy one in theory and if you're lower combat it will be easier to do the easy paths obviously because that's why they're called easy so npcs get experience points when they complete an area and they also gain combat experience now, if you just want to gain levels efficiently and not worry about the rewards or loot within areas, the um, best thing to do is choose areas based on your NPC's difficulty. Now, this is kind of where it gets interesting. For easy and medium NPCs who are able to deal a fair amount of damage, the best thing to drain them on is areas uh, which involve combat. So essentially, you will, tank, you will be their tank and get all the hostile monsters to attack you while your NPC is attacking them, leaving the NPC safe from any damage, basically. So in contrast, the hard NPCs aren't as strong in combat, so the best way to get them XP 
is um, to rush through easy non-combat area or like, you know, the area that takes the least amount of time to do. So they get uh, this and they also get the same amount of experience regardless of the area difficulty. So if you go through a broken bridge in Easium, it eat an easy, <laughs> Easium, is that like a mix between easy and medium? The, I don't know. So if you go through a bridge room that is easy, it will have the same amount of experience as a bridge room that's in hard. Um, yeah. At, I should probably say all the at first all the paths will be a mystery, but as NPCs level up, they will earn the ability to run, and you'll see them running behind you, so you can tell. And and um, when that happens, they will be able to hit. They will like give you a hint about what lies ahead in each path, and then you can make a decision. Okay, so I might as well get trekking. I'll show you uh, what it's about. Okay, what should we do first? Okay, we'll start with an easy one. Now, the method for easy and medium NPCs is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter what you pick with easies or mediums. So you want to pick one, um, one of the top two for easy or medium. And then this guy will appear and you talk to him. He's medium. No, no, he's easy, sorry. And you can also give them food. Now, I've already... Oh, no, they've got 17 slots free. Uh-oh. Okay, this is why I have food in the yak. So take... I'm giving them cabs just because I've got tons of them in the bank. You can give them up to 28 items and they will heal themselves if uh, if they need to. Hopefully they shouldn't need to, but sometimes they do get damage dealt to them. Okay, so after you've uh, given them the stuff, you talk to them to start the track. Start track. Okay, so if you remember what I said, easies and mediums, you want to find combat events. Although this guy can't run yet, so if you look at the, all the paths, if you just click on them, it will say that they won't give you any notice. Like they won't give you any hint of what what's in, what's ahead. So when they're lower level, like 38 is not terribly high, you want to avoid the hard one. Unless you're going for rewards, and then you can go for the hard one. But for efficient leveling of the characters, you want to go for easy or medium. In this case, I'm going for medium. And to to so you don't have to go through all the dialogue. You can just press quick continue. This will take you into the room. Right. This is what I was talking about. This is a puzzle room, I guess you want to call it. Um. And you have. In the easy section, you have three NPCs, which will need healing. You can give them any food you want. But, as I said, I suggest anything that you can put in a sack, because I've got, I've got th a 30 food there, and it only takes up three inventory spots. Right, now that they're healed, you can move on. If you don't heal them in time, say if you don't have any food, you do get stuck on that stupid log. You can um, kill the... The uh, snelms here, not snelms, snails. Yeah, snails. And cook them, but you've got to be very quick. And if they do die, guests will come. So now you've got through the first room. There's usually about two to five rooms each trek. It's really random. Um, has he leveled up? No, he hasn't leveled up yet. You can choose again. Again, I'm because I don't know that the guy can't hint at what's coming. I'm just picking easy for now. Um, this is the fixing the bridge room. <laughs> fixing the bridge room is like the official name that I've called it. You need to get three logs and fix the bridge. And randomly you'll get these undead lumberjacks come out of the water. And they drop the lumberjack clothing. Which they did. They dropped the lumberjack boots. Woohoo. I've already got them anyway. But you should get like, I think three come out. Oh. Now, the followers don't attack these guys, so you just have to get them down. The lumberjack clothes has four pieces. There's the, the hat, the top, the trousers, and the boots. And when worn, they give a boost to when you, when you would cut, basically. So when you've got your three logs, and you've killed all the uh, 
the dead guys. You just fix the bridge and you can go straight ahead. I was kind of hoping for some combat ones so you could see him level up, but oh well. Again, we're at a crossroads type thing, and again, I'm going to choose easy. Just because I don't know what's ahead. I mean, you could choose medium, but because he's quite low, uh, it's more efficient to, when they're lower levels, to um, pick the easiest um, path because the combat creature the combat level of the creatures is lower therefore the guys that the NPCs will hit less when they cast their spells or try and fight them that makes sense right I hope it makes sense <laughs> right so in this one you just um, trim that swamp tree three times click on the um, the log to like tie them the three together and then use the rope that you just made with this vine hanging from branch Oh, that you just use it with a branch, sorry. And now you continue path. I haven't got any combat ones. Oh, see, no, 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 combat, no combat ones at all. Maybe I'll do a combat one after. So now we're back. We're, we're in Bergdurat, and we'll do the same. But this time, I'm going to do a hard one. Smitty. Now, right, okay. I'm not going to do that hard one yet because he hasn't reached a level where he can run and and see the ability you can't see the ability yet what I'm actually gonna do is use this one just for an example now I've already got her to 99 she's the one when got to 99 who gives you this pouch but I know that she c she has the run ability so she will be able to tell you what's what's up really what what's lies ahead and she is a medium which means We'll pretend that she's not 99 and that I want to level her. <laughs> she can tell you what's ahead. See, did someone order a snail? So there's obviously snails there. I don't really want to go to to the snails though, because they do hit kind of hard. Hit kind of hard. Morton, um, right. That is a good combat one for. Ex right, that one. Yeah, we'll go to the shades of Morton one. Which is good f for leveling up because there's lots of uh, shadows for them to kill. If you see, she will just uh, go right ahead and start killing. She's pretty safe, so what you want to do, you want to make sure auto retaliate is off. Get them onto you. You can also protect, use protection prayers if you want. And just let her go at it. Right, because, yeah, so if you see, there's kind of a lot of shadows around. So if you've got a, an easy or medium, this will be a really good room for them to do. It does take a while in this room, but um, it, it's yeah, it's a good one for them to do. I don't know. Maybe I should. Right, I'm gonna help her out. Usually, you should just let the um, NPC kill all of these, but because this one's already 99 and I only did it for an example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Go, 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 die. Because I don't want this to be too boring. If she doesn't attack any, just move towards a shade. Not a shade, um, a shadow. And she will kill them. Also, in this mini get in this, like, in this area. Why am I still killing with a dagger? You will get non hostile NPCs, which will heal you sometimes. They'll sometimes be in the buildings. If you had to do this one and you had a hard a hard NPC um, you would have to take all the doubt you'd have to kill them all basically because it would take probably about a year for the NPC with a hard difficulty to kill them because they do that rubbish amount of damage right th no 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 there's more and more down here why don't you get that Jane god she's so selfish okay let's get this one down where's it go there you go she's o she's on it already this this uh nice little lady person she gets a dark bow woohoo now obviously the easier mediums don't take half as long um to level up as the hearts just because they can get a lot of combat experience 
which helps them level obviously right let's get this done quickly because I've I think I've made my point now what's there what's there snakes okay snakes are good if you want some loot because they drop like they can drop up to like four or five skins at a time spirits grotto or oh, never have a go if you can avoid the nature spirits grotto do it it's so boring guests um the guests are pretty easy to do especially on easy um if if you've got an easy or medium that's this is obviously why you need a druid pouch again you would um if you're doing this with an easy or a medium you would let them kill them but because this is all only on, it, this is already a 99 character and that she doesn't actually need any more levels and this is just an example run anyway i'm going to help her kill her just so we can get onto the next run which is going to be a hard npc that makes sense right if it does Go, die. There you go. Oh, did I leave turmoil on then? Oh well. You can choose. Um, so yeah, when they get to a certain level and they can run, which you'll see them running behind, you can, essentially you can choose which room you want to go in, which is good for getting a uh, for getting loot when you you know when you're not too concerned with levels now I should probably say the vampires the NPCs don't attack the vampires probably because they can't because you know the whole silver weapon thing or blister wood weapon thing so if you're uh, if you're thinking that they can get combat XP from killing vampires they can't but I mean if you if you're on a hard NPC. If you're taking a hard NPC through, the vampire juvenates they they die really fast. So it's a pretty good one to go for if there's if there's nothing better. This one's taking. This is kind of a long track. How many have we done now? Guests. Don't want to take you into the hard guests because there there'll be quite a bit of fighting. Right. Okay. This hint is for the. Feeding the people again, I think. Yep, sure is. Now, this one changes as well with difficulty. In um, in easy, you get three people to feed. In medium, you get four people to feed. And in hard, you get five people to feed. Oh, I hate you get always get stuck behind that log. Stupid guy. Just continue through the uh through the trek basically. So I think you get the idea, right? This is the m there we go. Now we have one more trek to do to show you and that's the hard one. So I'll oh, pick a hard guy now. Rolane Thicket. He's probably a good hard one to do because unlike the other hard one which is in Berg de Ra, he tells you what's coming a lot earlier like the uh, the guy down in Berg de Ra, the hard guy down there, it takes ages to level him and he doesn't tell you what's coming until like I can't remember if it was 60 or 92 but yeah it takes a while Ghasts. Okay, so we know that that's ghasts and that's a hard ghast, so we want to avoid that ideally. Now, this is the river crossing. This is a simple one. Oops, sorry. Um, and it doesn't take long to do, and there's possible chance of a lumberjack reward, so we want to do this one. And this guy will also like cut down some logs for you, even though you're already cutting them. Look, he'll do it. He'll injure it. No lumberjacks in this one? Oh, shame. Fix broken bridge. Oh, 
What level are you now? 64. I wonder if you'll level this run. And obviously the higher level they are, the longer it takes. I'm not sure how long they take to get to level 99. I have heard from a couple of people that all of this, to get all of them to level 99, um, takes about 40 hours, but then other people have said it's smaller. Now, this is a hard one, but it's a really easy one. It's a, it's a river crossing, so I'm going to go for that. So essentially, the main aim of taking hard people through is to get them through each area as fast as possible. So you want to choose the least amount of effort and time challenges, wherever that be challenge or combat. I mean, some combat ones like the vampire juvenates, they don't take long at all. And if you can, and if you compare that to like the nature, um there's one where you have to like shoot um fire and like put out fire with water spells and stuff which takes a fair amount of time and it's just too much effort if you compare that to like even a, an easy gas it just it, yeah it's all about a swamp boat okay that's i kind of want to show you that because that's only on hard but i'm not gonna you can figure this all out yourself um, but yeah, after a couple of treks or like a couple of hours of trekking, you'll s you'll get to know which uh, which ones are faster for you because obviously a, a, a people play differently. Oh crap! You know what? Because I've got all three combat ones, I am going to show you this one just because I kind of like it. Now this one you'll only find on hard trails. And it takes a while for the cutscene, and I and usually I wouldn't do this, but it's on video, so I might as well do it for you guys. This is gonna be a long video. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take down the tentacles and then the head, because the more tentacles you take down, the weaker the the creature is. I'm gonna whack on that. Uh oh, no prayer. Spam it. And turn on auto retaliate. I don't know why I have um, soul split on. I always do, just like on my quick on my quick uh, quick press. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Dum de dum bum bum. Actually, let's turn that off. We don't need you. Let's heal up. Now you can kill the head. Hello, dude. He's still level 64. Oh my god. I think at this level it probably takes a whole trek just to, to level him. Maybe one or two, actually. They do take a long time, the hards. I personally am trying to get the hards done out of the way first before I and like do the easies and mediums last. Although um, the medium that starts in Berg de Rat, oh look, I'm finished, is good because you get this pouch if you get her to 99 and that can be really helpful. Okay, so th that's the, all the tracking I'm going to do as an example and I'm going to tell you about the rewards. Uh, you probably notice that I've got these after after every trek. Now you get a reward token for every trek you do, obviously, um, and it, they vary in color. So the uh, blue ones are f when you do mostly easy. So the colors like they depend on what route you take, basically. And blue is easy, yellow is medium, and red is hard. So you can pick whatever you want and you get a random reward. Like I always pick Rune Essence because I like it. And it's kind of consistent. And I use a lot of it so that's probably most important. And you get, if you have blue you get between 50 and 150, yellow 70 to 210 and red 100 to 300. So if you get a red one and you get lucky, 
you can get quite a lot of s and with with red ones you can also choose to have herbs if you want because you can get lucky and get um tour stools but i don't like to because i don't get lucky very often so i'm just going to stick with the essence i guess ore is pretty good too yeah iron and coal you also get experience but in my opinion it's not worth it because you don't get much experience for the tokens i'd rather have the essence i like essence okay it's pure essence not essence i should probably tell you that okay so as well as the tokens you receive rewards when mps level up as i said earlier um i'll actually show you those rewards so for this guy you can get a backpack and all the rest of this stuff is in game re like in yeah in the, in the mini game rewards that help trekking and all of this stuff it, yeah this woman gives you the druidic like the unlimited druidic pouch which is this one or a boros pouch hope that's I pronounced that properly and this stuff is in game stuff and then you also get at a hunt when all the combined levels are 100 plus you get to unlock a shortcut from the swamp that gets to the nature spirits grotto so if you walk through those gates by the mushroom um by the mushroom farm patch it'll take you right to the sp uh, nature spirits grotto if you choose to and then 200 you get construction's hat 300 you get construction's trousers uh 400 you get constructor's garb 500 you get the um, teleport added on to the games necklace which is c can be handy although pretty redundant when you uh, have the that that uh, what is it that pendant thing from branches of dark mire and then at 594 you get the gas familiar which costs 50,000 coins um, which obviously is the requirement and the task for the Mauritania elites now I'm gonna go to the tower and show you the rewards from the others because you can get like a walking stick I don't know if I've unlocked it yet though and then that will be the end of the guide I hope you liked it um, I will make a guide with all the different rooms in and tell you how to uh, do them if enough people want it to be honest if you try try it like it's pretty much common sense ah oh, let's bless it Woo. Um. Oh, they died. I don't know how anyone dies there, to be honest. Um, but if as I s any anyway, as I was saying, if you want me to make a um a guide telling you how to do all the rooms, I will if if enough people want it. But it's pretty easy. Like it's common sense. The only thing that can be challenges is maybe the bog, but it's like the the bog area which is it's kind of hit and miss but once you like learn how to find the path then it's it's pretty easy but just let me know in the comments if you want me to make that guide and I will stay for no 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 item reward construction gloves okay all that comes up anyway construction boots there you go walking stick those are the item rewards from from these guys. That's uh, no problem, dude. Um, if we go to here, this is the walking stick and backpack. They're just cosmetic rewards, and uh, yeah, I guess the walking stick's pretty cool, but I won't be using them. Anyway, that's the end of my guide. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's too long. Um, but yeah let me know what you think comments and thumbs and all that good stuff and subscribe if you want more videos like this okay bye then